In this video, part of our Awesome Cycles website series, we're going to go ahead and create a new page within our Awesome Cycles website. We want to create a new page called Community that we can then start to build out some social functionality util utilizing the new .NET Nuke 6.2 release. You can go about creating pages within .NET Nuke in a couple of ways. I'm going to show you the easiest way to just get a page created within the platform. If we mouse over the Pages menu in the Control Panel, now in order to see the Control Panel you need to be logged in. I'm logged in as an administrator here. But within the Pages menu in the Control Panel, we can come in and type in the new name of our page. We're going to call this page Community. We're going to use this Add New Page section. And when we create the Community page, we have a choice of creating it with one of two templates, a blank page or a template known as Default. I'm going to choose the blank page because I want to create the blank page without any HTML modules on it. And if I chose the default template, it would actually create the community page with an HTML module on it. After that, we get to choose where in the website we want the community page to go, where within our navigation. Well, we want to insert the page after the news and promotions page. This will insert it after the News and Promotions page in our menu, and because it's checked there with the Include a Menu option, it will be listed in the menu itself. So you can see as soon as we click Add Page, our page gets created here, and we now have a community page in our menu. You notice that there is no content on that page. In the next video in the series, we're going to start working with the new .NET Nuke 6.2 journal module.